Hello and welcome to another FIFA 23 Women's World Cup match simulation. This time it's Colombia versus South Korea or the Korean Republic or Korea Republic or whatever I should be calling them. Let me know if you know what is officially correct in the comments. Uh, on, on like the FIFA website for like match listings and stuff, they're called South Korea. On FIFA the game, they're called Korea Republic. I've no idea. Anywho, we're here for this match. This is the final first match of uh, of this world cup as in this is both these teams first matches but then from the next video onwards people people teams uh, that do contain people admittedly will be on their second matches uh, and i do want to just preface this by saying possibly for the final time although i'll probably stumble into it anyway during the silent, silent national anthems that i know very little about women's football in general and neither of these teams were in the one tournament i've previously watched which was the most recent euros for somewhat obvious reasons so yeah i know nothing about these teams i don't know who's the favorite i i know nothing basically so i don't know any of the players i'm just going to learn by doing learn by doing all these match simulations learn by watching some of the world cup as what bits i can what fit in watching and uh yeah hope for the best really so, 4-2-3-1 for Colombia, which we've seen a couple of other teams play in that formation, but not the most common. As they uh, pose for their, their group photo for the match, and now here come the Korean team. And that's like, I thought it was like a red kit, but it's, the socks are very definitely pink, and the trim is definitely pink, but it's, it's kind of a pinky red anyway, isn't it? Anyway, they line up in a 3-4-3. We haven't seen this from anyone so far in this uh, in these world cup match simulations so this will be interesting to see how this plays out quite an attacking mindset it feels like an attacking formation I suppose it depends on the mentality of those wide midfielders if they're kind of doubling up as wing backs it's kind of like a 5-2-3 which feels real defensive so may maybe it's kind of both 3-4-3 three, three when you're in possession 5-2-3 when you're out I don't know We'll see how it plays out. Anyway, Colombia, I believe, have kicked off. I actually missed that. And they've scored. Wow. <laughs> okay. I don't believe Korea have touched the ball yet. Um, unless they kicked off and got dispossessed real quickly. But I don't think that's the case. But I was waffling on about something else during the kickoff. So who knows? We'll find out just after half time. So I'm guessing she was being played on by that Korean number four on the other side of the goal. And Uzme, I'm going to say is how you pronounce her name. With the uh, clinical finish. And Colombia, not messing about. They're here to win football matches. They're here to chew gum and win football matches and they're all out of gum. Right, so can Korea respond? So far, so good. They're building a nice attack here. Now, nah, good interception, though. Goals out for a corner, but the danger is not over yet. Korea now get to uh, try and attack from the corner. Let's have a look at this finish again. Bosch. Lots of power. A little bit of swerve to turn it inside the far post. Lovely placement. About as wide as she could have got away with putting it without risking it bouncing back out off the post. Okay, short corner is taken. Passed into the penalty area. Centered. Oh, and she's pulled it wide. That was a that was a great goal scoring opportunity. And that deserved at least a shot on target. Yeah, she's she spooned that a little bit, hasn't she, to be honest. Well, Colombia should feel like they've just been let off with uh, with that because they did not defend that corner well. Gave Korea a fairly straightforward opportunity, to be honest. Now, they haven't conceded, and can they double their lead by building another attack? Look at this! Absolutely powering through, but no, the Korean defence have got across, but she's managed to retain possession. And yeah, I was going to say, was that not a foul? But yes, yes it was. And this is in a dangerous position, this free kick. This is like prime shooting range, but also maybe dummy pass it into the box, chip it in for someone to head in. There's a few possibilities, but to be honest, I, I see a shot coming here. 
Santos stands over the ball. Oh, so Vanegas has joined her. It looks like Santos. No, Santos skips over it. Vanegas scores. Correct decision made as far as the taker. And yeah. Wow. 2 0. What a free kick. Steps over it to dummy the wall. Lifts it over the wall and beautiful done. Keeper had no chance. Diving through the air, arm outstretched, just could not reach it. It was perfectly placed. 2-0 Colombia. Korea kick off again. Nice chip over the top. Korea need to retaliate here at some point. They need... They need a fairly quick response. Going into halftime 2-0 down will be quite a challenge to come back from. And it could get worse yet. You don't want to concede another here if your career... Oh, that was a poor pass. I don't even know what she was really thinking there. The only thing I can think is that was a miss hit. And I'm not sure why that was chipped. <laughs> there was no one between the two players at all. Oh, it's a good pass, but good block by the uh, Colombian defender. And now, going to try to counter-attack. Th three in support, four in total Colombian players flooding forward. They currently got the Korean defence outnumbered, but great defending there by the left-back. Well, actually, no, they don't have a left-back. I guess that's the left centre-back, or maybe the left midfielder. Who knows? Um, but I'm sure she knows. Anyway, looks like it was the left centre-back. And they're just playing quite, quite spread apart. Anyway, they're on attack now. Let's not worry about that anymore. Oh, and another good block. Oh, no. Wasn't a good block. It was a handball, and we've got a penalty for Korea. High drama here. We've had a goal from a free kick. These are significantly easier to score. So, let's uh, let's see if Korea can get themselves back into this. A little bit of a gift there. Didn't feel like there was that much pressure. Love that face paint. And the sunglasses, to be fair, as well. Oh, we've got an injury on the Korean team. No, a save by the Colombian goalkeeper. Oh, wow. That could be crucial. Went the right way. Fully outstretched. Maybe could have done with just a bit more power on it, to be honest. That penalty. Tried placing it, and it, it didn't pay off. I think maybe the, the Korean uh, player, whose name I actually didn't catch, was uh, hoping... For an early move from the keeper and she held her nerve and waited until the ball was struck it seemed that way anyway oh but there's a goal from out open play straight afterwards straight from well not from open play from the subsequent corner and uh, now Korea can try and get back into this and can leave the the haunting memory of a missed penalty opportunity in the past good finish not a lot the keeper could do about that Oh, I don't know. She could have stretched those arms out a bit more, to be honest. Maybe there was something she could do about that. But she just saved the penalty, so, you know. Swings and roundabouts. And that was Ji So Yun, who's uh, scored that goal. And we're likely going to go into halftime 2-1 now, but Korea in the ascendancy can get back into this in the second half now, having scored a goal. Although, Colombia might have something to say about my prediction. Oh, she went for the shot at the tight angle and good save at the near post. I thought she would have pulled back, but she's she's got the uh, she's got the bloodlust. She's tasted success. She scored a goal. She wants another one. So short corner, a possibility here, and they do in fact go for that. Centred into the penalty area. Down the line. Needs to be re-centred. That's not a shooting angle. Oh, that's probably it for that attack. Maybe half-time. Oh, no. Being played back in. Oh! Oh, good save. Right on the three-minute of injury time mark. That would almost certainly have been a confirmed 3-1 deficit going into half-time had that gone in. But I think the referee is going to let this corner play out. Before calling the half-time whistle. Well, they have to take it short. Nope. Loft it in. Clear it. You need to clear it. Why aren't you clearing it? Okay, she got away with it. Woo! I would have just hoofed that, knowing that half-time was coming. 
But uh, yeah, we go in 2-1 after a little bit of a scare for Korea right near the end of that half. And uh, Colombia will be happy with their performance, but probably unhappy that they've not managed to keep a clean sheet in that first half. Especially after the penalty save. And uh, I don't know. It's going to be a tricky one to predict the second half. Like Korea sort of in the ascendancy, but Colombia were back on the attack before the end of the half. So not really. There's the uh, scorer from the free kick warming up before the match. There's the kickoff. Here's the opening goal straight from kickoff. Usme fed through and Bosch. Quammy, you might say. Lovely stuff. What a great start if you're a Colombian. Now, this was the, uh, the retaliatory opportunity for Korea that was dragged wide. Could have been a very interesting match. I mean, it already is an interesting match, but it could have been really interesting had that gone in. Now, this was the well-worked free kick. Distracted the wall by stepping over it. Lofts it over. Beautiful placement. We can't even see the ball. Great camera work, but it is in the back of the net. And here's the penalty. On the handball that is very well saved. Like I say, could have had a bit more power on it, but the placement was spot on. She had to use all of her frames to save that, the uh, Colombian keeper, whose name I have yet to catch. And here's the goal for Korea. She probably could have done better with that, to be perfectly honest. But hey-ho, here we are. Here's uh, an opportunity. Yeah, the keeper always had that angle covered, though. Right, let's get into the second half, because this is... This has potential to be fascinating. Oh, no, we've got one more replay. Got one more replay. Oh, yeah, this one. Yeah, this was a good save. And arguably, like, we'll find out at the end of the match, but could be a crucial save. Yeah, and she's not happy at having to make all these saves. <laughs> and I know, I know, that's her job. But the defense's job is to minimize the number of saves the keeper has to make. And then the keeper's job is to make saves when called upon and only when called upon, which shouldn't be that frequent <laughs> if your defence is playing well. Anywho, Korea I believe kicked off then, so yeah, Colombia did score directly from the kickoff without Korea touching the ball. Well, I really went ahead and didn't pay attention to the second kickoff either. <laughs> so, Colombia gained possession by via a throw-in. And are now on the attack. Threaded ball. Oh, good save. Good goalkeeping. Closing down the angle. And managed to stop the striker from getting another goal. Now Korea going to want to mount a counter-attack here. They need to score the next goal. Another goal for Colombia. Kills this game, in my opinion, for Korea. Feels like too much of a deficit. I'm not saying it's impossible. I just feel like psychologically it might kill the game for them. And that's what Colombia are looking for here. But no, Korea... Get in the way once again. And now we're going to try and attack. But most of this half has been played, if not all of this half, near enough, has been played in the Korean half. They need to get... They've got some bodies forward now. Now they need to get the ball forward and still in their possession. There we go. This is it. Trying to, trying to actually build an opportunity up. Nope. There you go. She absolutely read it, Vanega. She's been all over the place. Absolutely crucial for Colombia, I would argue here. Was made the first goal scorer. Oh. Was that a bad pass or a good tackle? I, not really sure, but either way, Korea come away with the ball. Beautiful turn. Plays it down the right side. She's got very few options, and she gives the ball away once again. Colombia doing really well at defending against this uh, Korean threat down the right side. Oh, that was a bit of a late tackle, but referee's playing advantage. Oh, and now a fair tackle to regain possession, and Korea are going to try and counter-attack. They've got a few players forward here. Nice, nice shift of the play, like passing it smoothly from one side to the other, but then another wasted opportunity. Just doesn't feel like Korea's day, does it? Doesn't feel like their day. I hear from Colombia wanting to put this match to bed. Not quite over yet for Korea, this pressure. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that is deserving of being a winner. What a goal. What an assist. Can't wait to re-watch that. Absolutely amazing stuff. Love it. Love to see it. Show us that again, please. 
Look at this touch. Just that cheeky little tap on with the, the back heel cross leg thingy majig. And then sends the keeper completely the wrong way. Tucks the ball home. Absolutely no chance for the goalkeeper. And no chance of Korea getting even a point from this one, in my opinion, now. But goal difference can be a thing. But uh, Ramirez helping Colombia's goal difference out. Don't get any more points for this. Ooh. That was a needless attempt at a slide, if you ask me. But no harm, no foul. Or no foul, no harm, in this case. Korea would love to get a, a goal back, I think, here, just to hedge their bets with the goal different situation. But it's not looking like Colombia are, are down for that. They're trying to just keep the ball at this point, I think. Yeah, retain possession, get the full-time whistle called. Oh, well, failed the first bit, but succeeded in the second. 3-1, a good victory for Colombia. Wait. Oh, was it a foul? Oh, I thought that was full-time. Surely... Like, this substitution is pointless. It's full-time, right? Oh, it's a Colombian free kick. I'm not sure what for. But we're running deep into injury time here. And there we go. That's it, surely. Ref? Has the referee remembered? Ah, there we go. <laughs> that the game is supposed to end at some point. Uh, okay, so yeah, there we go. The 3-1 is confirmed for Colombia. That is actually the full-time whistle this time. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this match and this video. Uh, subscribe if you'd like to see the rest of this World Cup simulated. I will be attempting to do all the matches. Um, and uh, turn on the bell if you'd like to get notifications so you don't miss any. But for now, all I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Ibeza, you've been amazing, and I will see you next time.